Hey guys, welcome back to my pose creation series. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about some frequently asked questions and common problems that people run into after watching my videos. So the most common question that I get asked is, my rig is all white, how do I fix it? So if you happen to open up Blender for the first time and instead of uh, what mine looks like when I open it up. It Yours looks like this. Uh, there's actually a very, very easy and simple solution to this. Fortunately, I didn't know what it was until very recently, so I apologize to anyone who's been asking me this and hasn't ever gotten a very clear solution. Fortunately, I didn't know myself until uh, someone very recently told me. So I'm really glad to be able to share this with you guys because I know that this is not exactly, <laughs> this isn't ideal for making poses. So what you need to do is, if your rig looks like this, up here on the top right of the viewing panel is a little plus sign. If you click it, um, a bunch of stuff is going to pop up, but you can just ignore all of this and scroll down until you find something called display. Now when you open it up for the first time, it's probably going to be collapsed, so you'll need to hit the triangle next to display, and then go down and find this option called shading. Uh, it might be either single texture or multi texture. I'm not sure uh, which it's generally uh, showing up as if uh, your rig is white for the first time. But what you need to do is just change it to GLSL and it'll make your rig nice and solid and have color and texture. The second question that I get asked is how do I make poses for teens? Now, when you make poses that are just re regular single poses, or um, let's say you're making two teens that are interacting with each other, you can actually just use regular adult poses. There's nothing wrong with them, and uh, they're, they're going to resize correctly to fit onto a, a teen in-game as it would um, on the adult rig here in Blender. But in order to actually make uh, a teen rig and an adult rig uh, together in the same panel so that you can make um, an inter interaction between a teen and another age group, say a teen and a child or a teen and a toddler, um, you're going to need to actually have the appropriate size rig for making a, a teen pose. Um, so what you're going to need to do is go over to this panel here on the side and make sure that you have the little bone selected on the plugin panel. There's going to be three columns here. Uh, one is location, rotation, and scale. And under scale, you're just going to need to change all of these to 0.94. Um, if you change uh, X, it's going to change how wide they are. Uh, y is going to change how tall they are. And uh, Z will change how thick they are this way. Once you've set the numbers here on the right hand side uh, the, and the rig is shrunk down, you can import uh, any other rig into the panel and you'll be able to pose them together as you would any other couple or uh, group pose. Question number three is, my plugin won't install, help! So basically if you're trying to install your plugin and this happens where the, um, the item is grayed out on your panel and when you try and click the click box it won't click. The problem is, is that you're trying to install the contents of the zip file rather than the whole zip file. Um, this is something I was very clear about in my first video but you know I expect a, cu a couple people have missed this. So what you need to do is when you go to install from file don't um, find uh, anything that you've extracted from the zip file. You need to go and go directly to your downloads file folder and find the file that you downloaded exactly as you downloaded. So in this case it's the io underscore s3py underscore animation dot dash 1.60 dot zip. You gotta install the whole zip. Click that, click install from file, and you'll be able to hit the check mark next to the file and hit save user settings. Question number four is, how do I make my sim lay down or move my sim up and down? What you need to do is right click the root joint that is located here right in the center of the pelvis. So you right click it, um, this whole axis is going to highlight and uh, what that will basically show you is that there is a joint here 
that if you hit R in order to rotate the rig, it's going to rotate it on this axis and it'll rotate the entire rig. And if you drag these arrows here on the side and on top, you'll be able to move the whole rig around the panel. The last question I'm going to cover has to deal with uh, crashes and uh, any problems that you're having on startup when running Blender. Unfortunately, there really isn't much uh, that I can do or help with because while I understand how to run the program, I can't really troubleshoot the program very much. So I'm going to put some links in the description that will lead you to some forums or other places that you can go to try and find some help for solutions on why your program might not be working properly. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any more additional questions, I will try and get to them either on my Tumblr or maybe in a second video later on if I have the time. Um, I really appreciate your guys' support and I am so glad that I've been able to help so many of you make poses because while I love to make poses, I know I'm not the greatest and seeing all the creations that you guys have been able to come up with, um, with me being able to be the, the help that originally is allowing you to do this is really, really wonderful for me and I'm just so happy that I'm able to do this for you guys. So I don't always have all the time in the world, but I always will help when I can. So I'll see you guys later.